Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I heart Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're going to be doing the daily for March 29th, 2023. Mar Whoa, March 29th, 2023. All right. So I'm using this deck. I think I've only used this deck once before. This is a subscriber gifted deck. Um, I can't remember who at the moment, but this is such a beautiful deck. Um, it's the woman's deck. Finally have all my decks up. Um, it's, I, I just had to get to it last night and get some more organized up here. Um, turn this into a little pretty office. I've got to get a couch and some things, and I can't wait to show you guys the space that I'm in. But right now it's turned here until... I, um, I get everything in it. I just, I don't know. I just love it right here. It's just like so much peace. And I have the window open and my ancestor altar next to the window. It's so beautiful. But anyways, all right. So let's get back to the deck, to the, to the reading. All right. So let's take a look. Holy Spirit, prayers and angels, please allow me to clear message here for the Aries Collective. Just so you guys know, many readings are open. Um, the information is, um, tat, um, pinned in the first comment of this video. If you've sent me an email and um, um, a reading, just know that I've gotten it. I'm going to send confirmations out tonight. Um, I see you. All right. I see you. You don't have to send the email twice. I see it. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's take a look here. Holy Spirit, so you guys angels, please allow me the answer. Um, what does Aries need to see, Spirit, right now? What is? Oh, that's what it is that you need to see. Just so you know that the road opener candle is still going. It is still burning. I didn't let it burn all the way through. I snuff it every night so I can be very intentional about lighting it and praying over it every day. So I think this is probably about the last day before it goes out. Um, hopefully, I'm still reading my letter. I said three to seven days, whatever resonates for you, okay? Whatever resonates for you. All right, so we have Oshun. I think Oshun came out in a reading yesterday. Big Oshun energy, I love it. And Oshun here is forgiveness. Look how beautiful these cards are. Forgiveness. Let me see if I have the um, if I have the box around me so I can show you because you guys always ask. I don't, oh, I left it on my um thing. All right, I'll show you. I'll, I'll post a picture of it um, in the community tab, but you have Oshun in which is forgiveness. Um, you have sec, Sekhmet, my button just came under, Sekhmet, which is healing. We didn't, didn't we just have a talk about forgiveness yesterday, I think. And that, that is it. Like, wow, healing and forgiveness. You have Kali underneath, which is shadow. So somebody maybe needs to do some shadow work here. Um, and let go of something here so they can heal or forgive. That's enough. We have Ariane, Ariane Shad, which is fertility. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if you know who this goddess is or this, this fairy. She looks like a fairy, but these are a, a goddess deck, a women's deck. Um, Ariane Ad, Ari. Arian Rod, Arian Rod, I think, fertility. And then we have Psyche Persistence. Persistence. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay. Persistence. Someone said something the other day about um, um, doing a, a man's read or making it cater more to men. And I'm like, oh, and I pulled the woman's de deck out today. I was led to pull this deck. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that this is going to be just dedicated to the woman, but I heard you, sir. So maybe we'll do some divine um, masculine readings and specifically for the men. All right. So let's see here. What they at? Oh, right here. So we have forgiveness, healing, fertility, okay, which is birthing new things and persistence, continuing the course. So I see where this is going here. This is this is literally, this is almost like, I don't want to say it's like the same message, but it's literally forgiveness here is going to bring in healing for someone. And fertility is like the birth of things. It doesn't have to be just pregnancy, although somebody could be struggling to get pregnant. Um, 
it's about the birth of new things, abundance, um, creation, if you will. All right. We have the grapes, time to go out and have fun. We have the key, successful outcome to your problems. We have the unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial um, changes, okay? So there, I, I heard something may be holding you back. There may be something that you need to break away from um, because it's holding you back. And then you have the heart, great happiness. So this is good energy around this reading. What's at the bottom of the deck? Inner peace is at the bottom of the deck. Mm -mm. Let's see here. Let's pull the Kepper and then I want to pull the African, yeah, the African goddess rising. Oh, and I want to pull from my deck too. All right, let's see here. What's going on here for Aries? What do we need to know? We have childs. Look at that with fertility. Now, childs could be a literal child. Okay, you could be having issues with your child, or this could be about a child. Just know these readings. It doesn't. It's not always going to resonate with you. And if it does resonate with you, you may not always be the center of the reading. Okay, this could be about someone that you know, someone near you. Could be a message that you need to relay. Okay, um, just so you know that not every reading is your reading. Okay, let's just see. I just had to say that. But anyways. I see a lot in the comment section about this isn't mine. It's not, not everyone is going to be yours. Okay. All right. So let's see here. What else do we have here for Aries? Um, I knew it was going to be money. I knew it was going to be something about money. Unexpected income. You know why? Because this child energy is feeling like the creation or the birth of something new and creative endeavor. The, the child also represents springtime. Okay. So new beginnings. I'm seeing a false person at the bottom of the deck. Tell us some more. Give us one. More. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, look at that. Bad health. It's in reverse. We're going to put it up here. This is, you know what? Give us one more here. I don't feel like it's the same message, but I feel that it's similar. And when this happens, it's because somebody needs to hear this message, or maybe you thought the message wasn't for you yesterday, and it really is. We got imprisonment in reverse. This is about getting out of your head, releasing something releasing some sort of negative thoughts, or if you felt like you were stuck or trapped before, the imprisonment coming out in reverse means that you're not going to be anymore. Um, bad health. There could be someone here who may be having health issues, but you know I don't do health readings. But if you are, just know that positive thinking here can have the power to heal you as well. And releasing any unforgiveness of any sort. Because you literally got, I've just realized that you got forgiveness next to healing. And then the birth of something. Yeah. And then you know what else I'm getting is that there could be a situation where this is causing you to stay inside or stay trapped, stay in your bubble um, maybe from fear of getting hurt, betrayed again, and some sort of capacity because it says time to get out and have fun. It's time to get out and have fun. And you got the heart, which is great happiness. At the bottom of the deck, you have the lovers. So let's pull one here. Wow. Look at that. Is Arzili, wow. That's interesting. I pulled out my oils, my, my setting up everything in here and organizing my um my oils. And I found my Arzili Danter oil and Arzili uh, Frida oil. Um, and this is about protection. This is about, I don't want to say it's about vengeance because she is a protector. She is a protector of single women, single mothers, um, children, 
She is a protector of, you know, I called on out to her. I was introduced to her when I was going through a domestic violence situation. And so she is a protector. And I said vengeance because she does get people back who do you wrong. Okay. She protects, not only does she protect you, but she handles the situation as well. Okay. Um, and sometimes, sometimes, our healing doesn't begin until those cords are cut. And that's interesting because, you know, obviously, etheric. when I first got this deck, I was surprised that she was etheric cords, but it makes sense now because it's like a lot of time your healing does not begin until those cords are cut, okay? Until you do a cord cutting ritual or until you detach or disconnect from the thing that happened to you. And um, as a trauma or survivor myself, and I see other people who go through things like that, it is possible. It is possible to disconnect, to heal, and look at a situation not being a part of you, but something that you grew from, you learned from, you went through, it affected you, that changed you, you know? Um, and uh, you know what I, else I, I, I've learned too is that when the cords are cut, Everything that you want to happen or you think you need to happen happens. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you don't really have any attachment to it as far as, far as karma and things like that. Um, I don't like to do readings about, oh, what is their karma? What is that? Because I don't want people to focus on other people's karma. That is one thing that is for certain that will happen. And you don't need to have your hand in that. You let the divine take care of it. But that's interesting here that she's here at the bottom of the deck and what actually came out was harvest, reaping, okay, um, abundance. This is, okay, yeah, it makes completely sense. This is why someone has to get out of this energy, well, this, it, or is getting out of this energy because it came in reverse. This negative, obsessive thinking. All right. <laughs> Oh, I'm sliding. I don't know if it's my, it's my shoes. One second. All right. Let's take a look here. Here it is. So it says, uh, 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 what's that say? A ball, Nimba. A, a ball is a Baga fertility goddess. Fertility again. Okay. And Nimba is her living spiritual healing mask. Together, they embody the sacred feminine and abundance. There's a reason I pulled out that woman's deck. That, uh, Mm -hmm. Okay. Give thanks. You are being blessed. It is harvest time. Pay, pray attention. A season of great harvest is a season of great epiphanies. You are prospering. Okay. The embodiment harvest is when you reap the blessings that you have sown. The harvest is not just the fulfillment of your dreams, but the creation of them. This is powerful. Your thoughts, your imagination, the blessing of you being here another day on this earth. This is all harvest. What seeds of generosity, love, support, and goodwill can you sow in your community to create a, create a bountiful harvest for all? The goddess declaration, we are always prospering. We are always prospering. Okay. All right, let's see here. Wow, right on top of harvest, fell out. Money is coming in. Stop worrying. And you know what? The moment you stop worrying is the moment that money comes in. Trust me, <laughs> I've been there. The moment that you figure out a way to forget about what you need is the moment that it comes in.
we have betrayal in reverse. So I knew there was something here that needed to be forgiven. At the bottom of the deck, you have someone wants uh, to come back. Someone's hiding something. So I feel like this is about not ever really getting the truth or closure about a situation um, that really made the healing process difficult for you. I'm sorry, but the gum guys, I forgot to take it out. Oh, that card came out again. I can't really see if I can get it. Someone wants to come back from your past. Friend or lover. Okay, someone wants to come back from your past. At the bottom of the deck, we got soulmates. And we got karmic is watching and jealous. That card comes out a lot. Okay. Let's see. Ugh. All right. All right. Holy Spirit, Spirit is in here. Please, 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 I heard that betrayal happened because somebody was envious of you. Okay. Um, it also happened because you needed to get away from a particular person. And this could have been a friend. This could have been a family member. Um, you needed to get away from someone. And uh, the only re way that, the only way that you would, if this possibly because that you were so forgiving before, but the only way that you could get away from them is if they hurt you, right? I feel like this could have been a situation where you forgave someone over and over again. Okay, this is just downloads. All right. But don't be sad. I feel like someone's sad or angry, rather, at a situation. Maybe somebody's feeling like they got got. They don't know how. Tell us here, what does Aries need to know? What is the situation? So we got the Page of Swords and it came in reverse. This could be someone here who's very immature. We, it's like Gemini, Libra Aquarius energy, and we have more Aquarius here. Um, kind of immature, doesn't think before they speak. This could be somebody here who's watching you and it's about to be revealed to you as well, but it's uh, it's also given very impulsive. And I said that they don't watch with how they speak or speak to you or what they say. Um, maybe even petty energy. All right, what's the challenge here? Pages could be friends, could be, you know, children as well. So this could be somebody's child. We got the nine of swords. Someone is stressing, having sleepless nights, worried, but I wonder why, you know? Hmm. Maybe about breaking free. I'm seeing the King of Cups. Maybe you love this person. If it is a child or someone here who's giving you difficulty or talking to you reckless or has, or just was very immature about what they said to you or said to you or said about you mm, or said about you. Mm. I just heard God's about to spin the block. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. What is advice from spirit? We have the Knight of Wands energy. Now, this is a very passionate energy. This is chasing and being very active about what you're creating. This is kind of an impulsive energy too, but this is like somebody who is driven and led by their passion or their creative desires. It's also a fun energy. It's also an exciting energy. It also could be of travel and, you know, like I'm feeling like this is this advice for you is to get out there and go have fun and create and, and enjoy your passions. And this is like, yeah, OK, because look at that. The devil's at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be bound to a situation energetically. Right. We got the etheric cords here. You see the chains right here. And it's kind of like you're still very heavily attached to a particular relationship. And you're not allowing yourself to be happy um, or to be free. What is the outcome for in the near future?
the nine of wands, putting your guard up. The nine of wands is also like the ending of a cycle, a very, it's like the, the, the very end of a very painful cycle. Okay. Burdensome cycle. Um, there's a lot of difficulties, a lot of drama, a lot of baggage. It could even been betrayal here as well, but it's like somebody put up with a lot that hurt them. Okay. Cause we call the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. Like they just keep going. They just, in this instance, it feels like somebody just kept taking it. You know what I'm saying? Like you just kept taking it and you just kept taking it. Like whatever was being done to you. And you know, the nine of wands, I always say you have to take some accountability too. I mean, you never know the situation. Everybody's situation is different. Maybe you love the person, you know, and obviously if it's a child or a parent, you don't really want to give up on them and you're continuing to get beat down by this situation. If it's a lover, you stay because usually there's some sort of attachment, right? You could be trauma bonding, um, you know, and that's also what the nine of wands feels like. But we got the devil at the bottom of the deck. So that wanted to stay there. And look what I picked up, the nine of wands. I, in this instance here, with this being in the near future or the outcome, I feel like someone here needs to learn how to enable their boundaries. Protect yourself. This is also a reminder of what you've been through. So maybe someone's coming back. Okay, reminding yourself what you've been through, what you've come out of. And I'm also hearing like it's safe to get out there and live. I feel like somebody was really damaged by a situation and you need to know that because your advice is the Knight of Wands, which I feel like is like getting out there, having fun, having exciting new adventures and creating. We have a lot of creation energy here, fertility twice, Um yeah, and it even says time to get out and have fun. So let's see here. Tell us about the Page of Swords in reverse. I saw the sun. Tell us about the Page of Swords in reverse. Look at that. The Empress. The Empress, wow. Okay, again, the Empress could be a mother. This is also fertility, creation, the same thing that keeps coming out. We have this card in different form, like over and over again. So, wow, this is abundance. Somebody could be upset or hostile. I'm hearing about what they did to you and then seeing you in this energy, in this Empress energy or in this... And the men can be an empress energy as well. I got to have to always say that this divine feminine energy, you're in this receptive mode. People are doing for you, giving for you now the love that you deserve. Maybe there's a particular person who did not do that when they had the chance. You've seen the temperance here at the bottom of the deck. So we have Libra, Taurus, energy. Tell us about this, uh, the challenge here. Seven of Wands energy here, Aries Leo said. So yeah, hmm. it would be very difficult to, for someone here to enact these boundaries. It was like something made someone very, very angry. And look at that. It's about a relationship, lover, friend, family member. Somebody made somebody very, very angry to the point where they didn't give you any choice. Like somebody didn't give you any choice. I feel like somebody was really going through some mental issues, mental health issues with the bad health card here, the eight of swords in reverse. The only way that you could get out of this was to protect yourself, to defend yourself, to, to stand your ground. I'm hearing somebody and then somebody tried to make you the bad guy because you wanted to protect yourself. You know, like that's like that saying, like they never see, they never see, um, How's it go? Like they only see you react. They never see what was done to you, right? So somebody may have blown up, right? You may have walked, that is, you know, that's us. <laughs> you know, we get pushed and pushed and pushed. And then we're the bad guys when, you know, you, but I feel like here with the nine of swords energy, I don't know if this is you, Aries, are you getting out of this energy? There's someone here who's having sleepless nights, 
maybe they're maybe you're upset or maybe you're obsessing about the way you acted in a situation but i feel like it may have been warranted okay and this forgiveness may be of yourself you may need to forgive yourself for being put in a situation or allowing yourself to stay in a situation for so long tell us about the knight of wands the justice you deserve to have fun you deserve to get out there. You deserve to do things that make you happy, that it like light your fire, that drive your passion. You deserve this. With the justice card here, this means that balance is coming for you. Okay. Fairness. This truth is what I'm hearing too, as well. With the Knight of Wands energy, I feel like this is about your passions taking off like something that you've created. It, it's going to flourish for you. Look at that, the emperor at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are going to be in this boss type energy here. Look at that eight, eight of pentacles. Something that you're working on is going to flourish now that this situation is subsided or this person has gotten out of your energy or you've forgiven a situation. There's healing and then you got forgiveness, healing, and fertility. So that's literally the steps to forgive, to heal, and then something grows for you as long as you stay persistent. Hmm. Tell us about the Nine of Wands. What is that? That one that was the Two of Wands. Tell us about the Nine of Wands. Is that right? No. We got the Five of Swords. So you have an Eight of Swords again. You have to keep your boundaries up. You have to keep your boundaries up because there is some sort of manipulation tactic or someone coming here around you. Tell me about this five of swords, six of wands I'm seeing here. Tell me about the five of swords, the king of swords. Ooh, big narc, big narcissist here. Tell us about um, this five of swords. I'm seeing this. Ooh, the sun. Okay. Look at that. The bottom of the deck, the seven, the, the tower, not the seven of nothing. The seven of pentacles is right here. We have the temperance. We have the knight of knight of cups. Somebody is coming in to apologize. Mm. They want healing. They want balance with you. They want they want to apologize. I feel like they see you in this energy, this king of swords here. They're coming in with some sort of offer. Tell us about this. Four of Wands, that's the offer. So somebody wants another try. I'm seeing the Nine of Swords here. You take this how it resonates, whether it's Knight of Swords and the Emperor energy, whether this is a lover, a friend, a parent, there's somebody here who sees that. And as I say, they see the Page of Swords. They're watching Two of Wands and they're about to take action towards you. Let me tell you this, though. Let me tell you this, though, because this is what I'm getting to. There's somebody who may see you healing. Okay? There's someone who may see you healing. And so if it's an energy vampire, because this just came to me, look at that, the high priestess. Yeah, you need to use your intuition. If somebody sees you healing, that is an attractive, that is an attractor to energy vampires. Okay? They left you high and dry because you were no longer a good supply. You were dried out. You were tapped up. They couldn't use you anymore. Okay. So they discarded you. Um, now they see you healing. Okay. Um, and this was no difficult. This was no easy thing. This was very difficult. Whoever I'm speaking to this is very difficult. It took a long time to heal, to get here. Right. You're finally at that time where you can get out. You can have fun. You can enjoy yourself. You can be happy. You can start your new projects. You could do you. That is the part where that is the part where the narcs always come back. Okay, especially if you were a good supply. If that is when they always come back. When you finally, after that long period of healing and isolation, and you know, healing, I just keep saying healing because that's the card here. And you're about to pop back out, you're about to go back outside, you're about to have fun, you're about to start traveling, you're supposed to be being seen again, right? They're coming back. <laughs> they're coming back knight of cups energy this is a love bomber this is also somebody who could be romantically involved they could have love and emotions for you but the knight of cups is also a very intuitive energy as well so don't underestimate this person they sense and feel 
the energy that you're in. So they're coming in. King of Swords here doesn't feel like you're playing with no fool either. Okay. Very intelligent. Uh, very, they're going to be very intentional about how they come towards you. Okay. The offer that they want is to reconnect. Whether that's a family member, they want to reconnect with the four of wands here. If it's a relationship, they want to reconnect. Okay. Seven of pentacles, they're telling you they're coming back in. They waited long enough. Look, this person is like, I'm looking at this girl. She's like, mm, look at them blossoming, flourishing. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go back over there and disrupt their peace. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. King of Wands, someone in their ego. They could also see you in some sort. Look at that. The Three of Swords was about to pop out. I'm seeing the star here, Aquarius energy. They want to heal and the Ace of Pentacles. There's someone here that sees the blessings around you, maybe even before you do. They see you being blessed. They see you about to reap with the harvest energy. They could be sorry. Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, and Eight of Wands. Um, this is that time. This is that time. We expect to get a message. If you know who this is, the energy that I'm getting, Libra energy. We got um, a lot of air energy. We got Aquarius energy. We got uh, Sagittarius energy. We A lot of Libra energy here. Um, okay. So they could have Libra in their chart. We also have fire. We also have a little earth, just a little, a little earth. Okay. Um, but yeah, take care of yourselves. And I think the biggest message here is that someone's life is about, if it's not already, somebody's life is about to flourish. Okay. Someone's life here is about to flourish with the child, the unexpected income, the harvest. And some of you, if you're connected to this person still, you know, that may need, may, you may need to get up out of that. Okay, this uh, this really feels like somebody coming back though. So, yeah, because betrayal is in reverse and someone wants to come back. Feels like somebody coming back, but if you know that you're in connection with somebody who's like this, you know, like even I'm getting like specific, specific message here. You could have tried to have children with this person and you couldn't. And now like you're moving on to a new relationship or the, your next relationship, you will be able to get pregnant easily. Or that's just the same thing as you're creating something, a business of some sort. Nothing would take off the ground. Nothing would get off the ground for you, right? You kept running into problems, running into issues. Now all of a sudden that you left this person, things are flourishing or will flourish for you. Sometimes it's the people that love us the most that hold us back. Okay. And that's why I say this could be a family member. This could be a parent. This could be a sibling, but it's someone here where you disconnected and you literally, there's heavy abundance energy here. Heavy, heavy abundance energy with harvest, fertility, the empress. Um, someone is about to be very, very happy. Someone is about to be very, very happy. And I'm also hearing someone is about to heal. Like it's, this could be even a physical ailment that you've been suffering with for a very long time, you are about to go through a period of healing. And this could be mental because you have great happiness here, which is just as important. Okay. Um, the message here is use your intuition to make beneficial changes. All right. That's what I have for you guys. Take care.